first week was meant to give them kind of a basis, um, some computer-aided design, so we used SolidWorks. We built a few small projects with that, um, did some design thinking, so did a workshop on design thinking, so that when they, the second week, start um, looking at longer-term projects, they have uh, some tools in their, in their back pocket. I'm trying to show them that engineering can be fun and creative, um, so I try to make it very hands-on. I try to make it inquiry-based. Vicki is a great example of learning by doing. She designed the camp to be an experiential learning exercise and the students days were filled with different activities facilitated by other students, by all the amazing guys in the machine shop or by some of the other teaching assistants. And that experiential learning aspect of the camp was definitely the most successful. It kept the students engaged and interested. It kept them creative and engaging in their own learning instead of passively learning from PowerPoint or lectures or slides or other things like that. This camp really showed me how diverse engineering is. I would definitely recommend the summer engineering program to other high school students because engineering is a hard field to expose yourself to in high school and this was a great chance to do that. Being engaged in engineering as a high school student is incredibly influential into a student's development. It was really neat to hear so many students afterwards say, oh, I really want to be an engineer. This was so much fun. I want to investigate this further. Many people feel like they can't be an engineer because like, oh, I'm not a total superstar at math or, oh, I'm still like, don't totally understand physics. But engineering is about being inquisitive, about problem solving, about really challenging yourself to be a creative problem solver and so it was exciting to see students seeing that and and being able to envision themselves as engineers.